All right, guys, here it is, Arcade 1 Up, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in the flash. It's real, and I'm very happy to have this finally in my collection. Probably one of the most discussed, debated, anticipated titles in the history of Arcade 1 Up. Could they do it? Will they do it? Is it even possible? Does it live up to the hype? Should you buy it? Let's find out. Just first things first, I guess I've got to say, I, even though this did arrive early, I did pay for this with my own money. $900 dues! Alright, so this is my first cab in the new Midway inspired design. First time putting it together, probably took me, I had to run in and out of the room, took me probably two to three hours. Like I said, I was in and out of the room chasing kids up, that sort of thing. But it was, went together pretty simply like you'd expect with most arcade ones, nothing too tricky to put together. I'm happy, I, I really like the design, uh, it's an improvement and I really hope they stick with this Midway inspired design. I know a lot of people had things to say that it's a Midway design Capcom title, shouldn't be there. To me, I'm not really bothered. Uh, I think this is the fourth or fifth cab in this design. Uh, it's very comfortable. It looks a lot better than the original cookie cutter design uh, and I hope this is the new go-to design that Arcade One Up are going for just their standard cabs. In one criticism, personally I think the control deck is a little high. The original Arcade One Ups on the riser control deck was more true to an original arcade control deck height. It's just a bit of a nitpick my side. I think it's just slightly a few inches, maybe 50 mil too high, but it's not too bad. Other than that, you can see here, the artwork is beautiful. It goes all the way down to the riser. Uh, I took a bit of time. I know B Kong in his preview video a while back, uh, he talked about where the extra, raw, extra height panel, you can see the seam. I took a bit of time adjusting the screws in those uh, backing brackets. I just adjust one, tighten one screw, adjust the panel a bit, tighten up another screw, and I just kept adjusting it and so, until I got it as close as I possibly could. So it's still not perfect, no, but the seam between the two panels and the break in the artwork isn't as visible as say when B Kong put his together a few months. But that unit was just a preview unit, so they may have improved again on top of that. The artwork itself is beautiful. Some people may talk about the fact that the artwork is a little grainy. Uh, again, to me, that's uh, probably more true to the original cab. You can't please everyone. I know I see a lot of discussion about people wanting per arcade per original perfect, or they want to more, more HD graphics, that sort of thing. You can't please everyone. Uh, from a distance, you can't see any graininess. It looks, it looks good, uh, so I'm not complaining anything about the artwork. The control, artwork on the control deck is pretty standard. St pretty standard stuff. Nothing to complain about there either. Okay, uh, marquee. To me, the marquee is beautiful. You can see here, it doesn't look washed out at all. They've really nailed this one. Uh, the, the light shining through it just looks good. Uh, the artwork, again, some people might complain that it's a bit grainy. To me, unless you're standing maybe 10 centimeters in front of it, you can't tell it's grainy or not. Especially if you're standing across the room or you're just standing, unless you're standing directly in front of it, the graininess in the artwork is not an issue. Okay, let's just put that one to bed now. It's not an issue. If you feel it is, there's going to be third parties that'll upgrade it and you can spend your money to upgrade it. Beautiful molded coin door, good to see that. My first cab that I've put together with a molded coin door, I've had Dragon's Lair in box for over a month now, I just haven't found the time to put that together. So technically this is my second cab with molded coin door, but my first one I've put together with molded coin door. Happy to see that there. I may upgrade the coin return buttons to little LED lit up ones for that extra feature. I think that might look cool. Uh, also control deck, no light up control deck, which I'm happy with. I think that was a bit of a gimmick. It just added to the cost of the cab and I always turned it off anyway, I didn't like it. It just showed any scratches in your deck protector anyway. Uh, Rise is pretty standard. Uh, not much to talk about there. You got Marvel vs Capcom 2 logo uh, all the way around on the three panels, front, left and right. Nothing to complain about there, looks pretty good. Upon starting up the cab, 
I noticed straight away when I jumped on the joysticks to start the put in the Wi-Fi settings, that sort of thing, initial startup. I noticed something different. I noticed that sticks were better, they were tighter. That's what she said. Uh, and after a, a game or two, I, I sort of thought, these sticks are better. I did know that they were including an octagonal gate, but it seemed like there was something better about the sticks rather than just an octagonal gate. So I reached out to John D, not in a private chat, I just direct messaged him. And he did confirm that they are upgraded sticks compared to what we have had in the past. Uh, he didn't say that they are Sanwa or anything crazy like that, but they are upgraded sticks uh, and with an octagonal gate. So that's really good, that's uh, added some value I would say for your money that we've got better sticks. Buttons, unfortunately, uh, not much of an improvement there. The same arcade one-up button. It would have been nicer, I prefer the hap style button. Uh, convex instead of convey buttons, but that's my own personal preference. Uh, I don't normally bother upgrading buttons and joysticks in my arcade one-ups. Um, because they are what they are, but I may change the buttons out on this just to match the better quality sticks That's my own personal opinion. The screen is a beautiful BOE uh, You can see you can stand right around the edge like I'm standing halfway behind the thing and I still can see it, it doesn't wash out Sorry can't console fanboy. They nailed this one the Capcom title uh, So it is a very good screen and I'm very happy to see the BOE high quality monitor in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Okay, the big question online. You can see here that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 does in fact say lobbies are not yet open. I mentioned in a quick video yesterday, we received the, this one shipped in Australia on October 5th and the official release date was October 22nd. So it's fair to say that online is not yet ready for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. All the other games, bar War of the Gems and X-Men Mutant Apocalypse are ready to go. You can see the leaderboards. I did find a problem where I couldn't bring over my account from Marvel vs. Capcom 1, the original one. Uh, when I put my account in on this one, it said that username is already available. I tried to, I deleted the account off Marvel vs. Capcom 1. I'll be selling that cab anyway to make room for this one. And it still wouldn't let me use just playing Big Reesey. So if you want to play me, you'll have to find Big Reesey 12. The 12 is a personal reason why I've got that number, don't ask. So that was a bit of bummer that I couldn't just bring over the account over. I know some people might not like that because they've got their leaderboards, their records and whatnot. It doesn't look like you can transfer it over to the cab. Uh, it wasn't a big issue for me, I didn't play too much online uh, just because of region and, and lag and, and that sort of thing. But this one I probably will play more, I know a lot more Aussies have brought. This one I think it's almost sold out already in Australia so we'll have lag free experience. And hopefully Arcade One Up gets some good servers or something going on with this one, and I can play some of the people in other parts of the world. I've already had B Kong hit me up for a game of Marvel vs. Capcom One. Okay, gameplay. I'm going to talk specifically about Marvel vs. Capcom Two because, from what I can tell, all seven other titles are as they were, as you would expect from previous cabs. Marvel vs. Capcom Two gameplay for me is very minimal lag. I'm, I'm not a super serious fighting game player, so if there is lag, I'm not noticing it. I mean, it's enjoyable. Yeah, I'm not noticing any lag in gameplay yet. I've only played it for an hour or two. I haven't had too much in depth. I will come back with another review in a month, six weeks, and let you know my feelings after having this cab for a lot longer. I honestly don't like doing reviews after having something for a day or two. I'd like to have it for a few weeks before I'll do a review. So my opinion is more honest or more experienced, but I wanted to get this review out uh, as soon as I could because I had a lot of people asking me, asking questions, that sort of thing. All right, so wrapping things up. Do I recommend the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 by Arcade1UP? Should you buy it? Well. To be honest, without sounding like a shill or overly positive, this is probably 
one of, if not the best cab Arcade One Up so far has put out. I can't find too much to fault with it, other than my personal preference of the, of the control deck being a little high. That's about it. Make sure you subscribe and do all the YouTube things, like all the rest of it. I will do another in-depth review in four to six weeks after having it for that amount of time. See if my opinion has changed. But I, all I honestly can say, it's damn near perfect. They've knocked it out of the park. John D and his boys and the team at Arcade One Up have really made sure there is not much to fault with this cab. Anyway, that's it. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll catch you all later. What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal?